What's up, Sportman family? It's your boy, Sportman. I'm bringing you another market watch. And well, sometimes the market is confusing, but I guess TCG player is trying to be confusing to us now as well. <laughs> and what do I mean by that? Well, we have Millennium Ankh here, but they're showing the secret rare copy, but this is actually the ultra rare copy. And talking about the ultra rare copy as well, there's only six listings left with the $19 being the cheapest for the ultra rare copy so very insane there but yes just to be for certain this is the secret rare copy which has actually gone down in price so keep your eye on that as well a lot of millennium stuff going down and going up so very weird to see because again millennium actually not bad deck to be honest with you uh fiend smith track talking about a great deck and talking about a deck that should be on the right traction it's I don't understand what's going on with this archetype um, or engine <laughs> especially. Um, a lot of the stuff in this engine seems to be going down and I laugh because was once very hyped up before the actual announcement of Infinite Forbidden. It just seems like I, I don't understand what's going on with a lot of stuff in this set. It seems as though a lot of stuff is just being devaluated. Um, and I can't actually explain why. Yes, there's a lot of listings of this, but... Again, it's, it's a good card. I'm not entirely sure why it's being, I guess, listed for $10. I feel like it should be much more than this. Um, especially the Fiendsman engine doing so well in tournaments and locals. Uh, we see Fiendsman Graver at $99 still, not you know above the 100 price tag yet. But I'm hoping that to see those cards start to increase in price because I think it's worth the value of it increasing. Um, now, for budget players that are trying to pick up this deck for, you know budget and try to play the deck at your locals and uh, tournaments i think right now is the best time to start picking these copies up because uh they've only gone down and i'm not entirely sure how further down you want them to go because i'm not entirely sure if they're going to go down any further um can't really trust the market sometimes because sometimes they just bounce back up look at Molchari perelia was once at 30 dollars only a few days ago bounce back up to 60 so you know we'll never know what, what happens in this market sometimes but just be aware of that good cards tend to increase in price and these engines that are looking really good some of the cards are being very devaluated in those engines, so um, pick them up while you can. Um, I'll just say that to leave that with you and that thought process um, as well. Um, Seng Engine wakes from a Millennium. Again, another Millennium card was at $2 a few days ago, now at $5 and increasing in price, closer to 6 So if you do want to play Millennium, be aware some of the stuff is starting to go up while other stuff is going down, so pick them up while you can. Legacy of Destruction. These mini boxes, very hot commodity, right? The pull rates were really high up there. $17 at Walmart. Dut. If you're trying to pick them up other places, now we're seeing $38, $39 for them. And, uh, well, there's only four listings left here on TCG Player, so they are very exclusive, I will say that. Very hard to get them, so if you do want them, pick them up while you can. And the pull rates were very high in these. However, people that are picking up the Infant Forbidden boxes, which, again, being sold $45 on eBay, uh, the pull rates don't seem to be the same in the Infant Forbidden boxes. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos, and it just seems to be not all there um now again maybe you're picking up the wrong mini boxes you're not getting great and the, the unluckiness could be there that i'm seeing in some of the videos but i don't know it just seems like the pull rate just seems to be pretty terrible to be honest with these mini boxes um uh, i think they probably de-escalated the pull rates in this one but uh, we'll see what happens there's still exclusive it's still really cool you're getting a token card so i think people are still uh, mesmerized by that as well so keep all that in mind if you do want one you're gonna have to pay an arm and leg if you're trying to get it from either ebay mercari tcg player um but you know your best bet is to keep checking walmart to see if you can get one for 17. um the next card i want to look at is power filter power filter going up it only has i think one other reprint yes in an ots pack but they're both pretty expensive and again some of these older cards that haven't got reprinted in a while or you know haven't seen um multiple reprints starting to go up in price and that being power filter again two dollar card now well ten dollars at a damage copy nine dollars thirteen fourteen dollars here for lightly played so um yeah pretty expensive here 27 listings not that many so keep your eye on this one starting to go up in price um condolence pop we talked about dim puppets doing very well in the meta and the meta game and uh well we're seeing it here with this one it was at 44 cents i believe yeah 44 cents oh my lord well now at two dollars plus so we're seeing those cards that have never gotten reprinted um start to increase the price and condolence pop is one of them and talking about cards that have never gotten reprinted we have to talk about number 13 embodiment of crime because this one holy crap everybody 99 cents only july what 14th 16th where, where, where are we at now july 24th 13 14 dollars holy crap now like this is insane that that's a huge pick me up for this card and talk about number 13 well we've reversed the numbers to number 31 and yeah the same thing applied here for once that was at one dollar pretty much 
No, 15 bucks now for even a lightly played copy. So prices have increased galore for cards that have never gotten a reprint, especially cards that are seeing play now. So, you know, be aware of these things. When the cards don't get a reprint and they do see play, they tend to increase in price. So if you are trying to get this copy or you've, you know, you opened packs back in the past, especially premium gold, start looking through your buckets of cards that you, you probably have in storage because you might have these copies for, um, well, that could have been thrown away in those storage boxes. <laughs> now expensive. <laughs> Fire Sorcerer, a card, again, never got its reprint. Last reprint was, well, never. <laughs> it's only been in Labyrinth of Nightmare. Um, so uh, definitely expensive there, going up in price. And uh, a card that's very much used in Mimi Ghouls is, uh, well, it's seeing its way up. No no surprise there. Mimi Ghoul being a good deck and a card that's never been reprinted. Are you surprised? Um, the Black Goat Laughs. Well, making me laugh, I'm not going to lie to you about that one because, uh, well, $13 for this card? No, nope, not anymore. We talk about cards just going up price. Well, Black Goat of Laughs is going up in price as well. And I continue to see this one go up in price every single day. So uh, keep that in mind that this card, you know, I don't think it's going to be stopping. I think it's going to be circling around the $30 price point at some point. So, um, you know, just saying, I would pick it up while you can if you want this card now. Uh, Nightmare Throne. Well, you belt it pretty decent at the, you know, the national event. Um, nine decks topping in the top 64 as we talked about past couple days. Um, I do think this one's going to go up. You know, I, you know, obviously it's not getting its reprint, I believe, in the tin. So I I think this one's going to go up over time. Especially with belt being very present, very, you know, well endowed in itself and doing well at tournaments and stuff like that. So... We'll see what happens with this one, but a lot of the U-Ball stuff, I, I expect it to go up in price. A lot of the support cards, all these things start to go up in price. Glow Up Bulb, been some hype around this card that's uh, coming off the ban list, so uh, pick up a copy while you can. Pretty cheap here for the most part, on these copies at least. Um, if you want an ultimate rare, well, you got a pair of armor leg, but uh, I think you'll do justice if it does come off the ban list. Um, Ancient Gear Fortress, a lot of the Ancient Gear stuff going up price, I mean... This is a common, everybody. Yes, don't get it mistaken. It is a common, and it's at nineteen dollars. So, <laughs> who said commons weren't uh, great? <laughs> they definitely are great here. <laughs> Shouldn't get making sure of that one. Um, but yeah, nineteen dollars never got a reprint. So we talk about cards again, not getting reprinted, and being useful in the meta. Well, this one is just showing that as well. A common being sold for nineteen dollars now absolutely wild sometimes uh number c62 is on its way up as well look at this one look at the chart here just absolutely increasing over time so again a lot of the cards that you're believing that may not go up in price well no they're actually going up in price um we have this card here i don't even want to say that name i'm not gonna try i'm just gonna call it the flourishing hills uh starting to increase in price as well again two dollars going up in price so again a lot of the cards in the market starting to see its increase now um after nats uh, Nightmare Apprentice. This one's like a heartbeat. I don't know whether it's going up, going down, going up, going down, but uh, I would say for the most part, it's a good card and it's probably going to see its way up closer to $40 at some point. Right now, averaging around $30, so uh, keep that in mind as well. Um, and we have your Turbo Cannon, a card that's actually never been reprinted. And I actually love this card. I think it's one of my favorite cards from the 5Ds era. And uh, I, kind of, I, I didn't even know that it's never gotten reprinted. I felt like this card did get reprint, but maybe I'm just losing, you know, my mind. But wow, a dollar card now, two dollars, and it's on its way up. Everybody, it's at four dollars here, so it's definitely not, you know, going to be cheap as much as you believe it might be. It, it's going up. It's going up. So get your copy while it's on the cheaper end of things. And one of the cards I did want to take a look at is Crimson Dragon. Course under secret. We've talked about this card for weeks at a time. This card is going to go up. Get it while you can. The QCR is, I mean, everybody, if you picked yours up for $80, $90, because some of my friends picked theirs up for 80 bucks at some point, you're doing yourself justice now. Over $100 again. So I do the, <laughs> and I'd be honest with you the, with this card, I do see this one going above 130 very easily, very soon. So if you got your copy early, congrats to you. Um, but if you still want to pick it up, I do see it continuously increasing. So get it while you can. And there's only 10 listings left. Be aware of that. Uh, and the last card I want to take a look at, well, obviously Blue Eyes is doing its thing. This card has never got its reprint as well. True Light um, going up over time. And I expect this one to continue going up. So um, keep this in mind. Cards that don't get reprinted, they see an increase in price. So don't, 
do not underestimate that okay so try to get the cards early that you need because they will obviously increase and then they are not guaranteed to get a reprint anytime soon you never know when konami might reprint those cards so um yeah but that's about it for this market watch i hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe and comment and from your truly sparkman we'll catch you next one peace out youtube